I think we hit on your problem. Too much thinking about. Let me, uh, let me recap real quick. I'm going to share screen. And then I've got to talk to a dude for the summoner speak thing. Uh, I'm going to share my screen and hopefully I have Lux on this account. You can swap to my screen. I really like this champion. Um, I really think that there's a lot of untapped potential. It's just most Lux players are making your mistake. Um, and they don't see where she's actually valuable. So do you think you win versus Vlad in a straight up 1v1? Probably not, no. And you don't win versus a lot of champions in a straight up 1v1 as Lux, do you? No. Exactly. But Lux's wave clear is what I'm trying to get you to focus on. As opposed to what you were doing, which is... Uh, basically doing goober stuff, for lack of a better term. Yeah. Um, not, not like um, totally thinking about what the after effect of what I'm doing is going to be. Yes. I'm going to show you uh, real quick just to just to get your your brain on on board with this. If the wave goes by, your opponent has no choice. Your opponent has no choice but to um, focus on that wave and deal with it. So let's skip ahead a bit. The main goal that I really wanted to hammer home was this right here. This concept. That's what I care yeah. the most about. I care about whether or not you're dealing with the wave quickly and efficiently. The reason why, and then you can poke like this as you fade away. The reason why is because doing this blocks ganks. No one can gank you now because you're way back here, right? Unless they can just straight up solo kill you. But even if someone shows up, you'll have your E again to go like this and just wiggle around on it and then leave. Do you understand? Yeah. So my goal is to get you in that, in that habit or in that framework. And I'm just going to turn off mana for a second. To get you in that framework of like, this is how it needs to be once you start getting rolling as Lux. It's obviously like early levels. It doesn't really, you know, it's not as reliable. But even something like a cannon wave, you should be doing one of these like right away. And you should be thinking about the wave like this. And trying to deal with it fast so that you can back up and decide what you want to do. Now, if you look on the map and you've got, you know, opponents everywhere and there's only one person here, right? Then by all means, uh, you've got the wave under tower. They have to deal with that. So every time they try to deal with that, you know, you harass them a bit. And then as you're harassing them, you do this. You take plates, you see? Yeah. And this way, you can keep that pressure on. But if you're managing your E correctly, you can always take care of the wave. That's just with Dorn's ring, really. I mean, I'm leveled up, but you see what I'm saying? There's a yeah. lot of power in Lux's wave clear. So we've got to get value out of it. Now, as you level up more and more, um, we'll just go ahead and I forget what the hot key is for 10 minutes. It's control shift L. As you level up more and more, you get access to more items. This always bugs this game out, by the way. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> um, but like, let's say you're doing this, right? You've got these items. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me see if I do this, if it fixes itself there. Now. Fuck! I pressed the goddamn wrong button. <laughs> God. I was just gonna I'm gonna load it up just to show you um I want to make sure that you see like later in the game how that pattern works with like level it's like level 12 level 11 or whatever it is I forget the exact number
What, the, what is this client? What? <laughs> Dude, this game is like, it's something of, it's, it's complete nightmare fuel, this game. It's always due to the practice tool. I was watching a video of yours um, last night where the minions were just like walking to the middle of the lane and then dying. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Let me try something like this. Maybe this will work. I don't know. Just thinking outside the box here. Best game ever with the worst client ever. League of Legends. <laughs> It's just facts. So for for laning phase, do you recommend just using my ult on cannon waves to be more efficient than saving it for like a gank or something? So we're going to talk about that. That's what I wanted to. I wasn't done. OK. <clears throat> this is a good question. Because one of the reasons I get like super reclusive in the mid lane with Lux is because of the constant ganks. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm setting myself up for them. Yeah, you absolutely are. If you're just not, if you're not moving the wave fast, that's absolutely right. You are setting yourself up for ganks. That's another reason why I do it this way. Welcome to Rift. We're going to have one trillion minions in mid, so. Minions <laughs> I'll try not to fat finger the button again. 30 seconds until minions spawn. So. So something like this, it would be, uh, you know, this item, this item, this item. All right, here comes our minions. Control shift to O, I'm dumb. I've been hiding my life okay, so we've got our Emacs, right? We've got our, our ult. Couple, couple, couple ults here. So basically the biggest problem that players have is that they don't leverage this E correctly. That's what you see the, the uh, timing of that. <laughs> this is the problem that most Lux players face is that they don't utilize their E properly. Basically, once you get rolling later in the game, now you have the luxury of doing something like this if you want. You could be ridiculous with it. You could just do one of these and then like back up and then E again. I timed that wrong. I'm gonna make sure I do it right one time for you so you see what I'm saying. But the idea is, is that we're always looking ahead because we basically if you do this if if let's say someone chases you right i mean they're missing stuff and then if you kite it out and live you're it's basically like you beat them and you may as well have just killed them because they're they're getting further away from you in xp and gold which to me is more important than than the kill itself Because that's the, you know, that's the main problem that a lot of players have is that they're not, uh, they're fo like, like you, they, they are focused on trying to kill stuff instead of planning out waves like this. This is what we're really interested in. These patterns are the key. And if you're ahead, look at that. You're gone. And look how big of a roam timer you have. Amazing money. Look how long we Drew can walk Adam before Mundle we have to go home. And sent 2, stars. Drew, Daddy's thank you back. so much. But do you see this? Look, this is how long my timer is. I don't even have to go home yet. See? Right? Now I go back to mid. Look. I won't lose a single minion for this. You see? I might lose XP sometimes, or I might lose uh, gold sometimes, but I won't lose a minion. This is what most Lux players fail at. And so to answer your question about how, how you view ganks, if you think that it's possible that you're getting ganked or you feel enclosed, 
then literally just say fuck it like I do. If Say you have no health. You're low on health. I literally just go, okay, whatever. And just blast the wave and, and back up. Like, whatever. Okay. Because look, look at this timing, right? Yeah, I missed like a couple minions. Who cares? Right? You go, you buy your item, your, your stopwatch or whatever, a book, right? And then you wait a little bit. But look at what happens in mid. Even on a small wave. On a small wave, if it's unchecked, we'll lose like maybe a minion, but we'll be back in here. See, we got our XP and then we're back. And then right away, we think in terms of how can we crash this wave? So you go, okay, minions coming. Same thing as before, park the wave. See this timer again? Now you have the option. You don't have to ult the wave. You don't have to. But that's an option. Say your opponent leaves lane, right? Say, let me give you a classic scenario. You're facing like a talent or something, right? What do you think's more likely? People always talk about like wasting uh, R's on Lux. What do you think's more likely? Do you think that you're going to be able to follow him and hit a magical ult versus like versus all these champions? Or do you think it's more reliable to just crash the cannon wave and then follow and float around with your, your Q, your W, your E and see what happens, right? If we get this wave under tower and we go and poke at people and just kind of keep them at, keep them at arm's reach, right? While the wave is crashing, they're losing a cannon wave and the XP and their tower's taking damage. Or the other option is that if you crash the cannon wave fast and go, you could take like two plates. That's a guaranteed kill. You got me? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Okay. <clears throat> is that making more sense? Yeah, so what, well, my, uh, the point of my question was that if if I'm in the presence of the enemy mid laner champion, like if they're like under their tower and mm -hmm. I know a cannon minion wave is coming, if it would be more efficient to ult the wave and just keep him under tower. Yeah, as long as you have a plan with it. Okay. Like if your plan is like, I'm going to do this because, um, you know, I want a, uh, you know, maybe I want to. Maybe I want to help my jungler or something. Because, like, the times that you that you blast the wave is normally when you're going to back anyways. I mean, look at your cooldown, right? If we get a couple items and lucidity boots, look at this cooldown. It actually doesn't even hurt you to just blast the wave and back. And either, like, that's always an option with this play style. So, I mean, basically, the long story short is... If you're going into your games and you're just focused on shoving waves over and over and over and over and over, you're going to farm way better than you probably ever have in your life. And you're going to have more gold than you probably have ever had in your life because you're just focusing on farm. Because right now, like if I look at your if I look at your match history, uh, let me see. It's pretty atrocious. <laughs> let's look at your farm. Let's see, yeah, like let's look at your farm. Look at this. Uh, well, that's sorry. That's support included. Uh, Let's go through. Uh, we got this one. 7 CS. Not great. Uh, we find more mid games. 5.6. Not great. 4.3. Not great. 5. Not great. 5.8. Not great. 6.7. It's okay. But still not great. 5.9. Not great. Thir in a 36 minute game, we only have 214 farm. It's kind of embarrassing. Do you see where I'm going with this? Yeah. Uh, the support games I can write off is just whatever. Mid, 5.9. Sure, you have kills. You're killing noobs. Who cares? <sighs> Do you know what I'm saying? That would be... Yeah, yeah, I got that, you. If you're... If, it, it, like, your goal shouldn't be to kill people. Your goal should be no matter who your opponent is, no matter what they throw at you, you get your farm, guaranteed. You get X amount of gold every game, guaranteed. It's just like when I play, it's like when I play uh, like Trinomir. 
Like, I can guarantee in a lane phase that I'm going to have 180 farm at 20 minutes. I can guarantee you that. Right? That's our goal with Lux. The only hard part about this strategy, really, is, like, the early levels. Like, the first, like, four or five levels is where it's trickiest. And then after that, I mean, you can literally just delete waves. If you get fed... Because the kills will just kind of fall in your lap playing this way. If you get fed, like it, it really doesn't matter. You could just run around. And then as you're blasting waves, you could also unlock this too. Where you just go, cool, I'm, I'm doing this now, right? Slide by while you wait for the wave to bounce. You could do it, you know, you could do whatever you need to do to get farm. Because the wave's going to get stuck under tower. You just go down here, right? Do your thing, eat it, wait a second. So yeah, there. Game changing okay. for you. I want to make a YouTube video where I literally do nothing but just wave clear mindlessly to win a game. <laughs> like I'm not even kidding, because it's just... I, I think a lot of people do what you're doing and they uh, they don't see they don't see the potential because they're you're basically you're you're doing the equivalent of like the the duel where the two guys like slap each other in the face with the gloves and then do the 10 paces thing and then turn and shoot at each other. The minions, if someone has the push, that just gives them a massive advantage. So why would I keep the lane stagnant when my champion lose, loses in a straight up 1v1? Why the hell would I want to sit in a lane phase? <laughs> do you see what I mean? There's no point. Yeah. If I crash the wave, now I get to poke you under tower and you can't do shit about it. But if I keep the wave even, I go to hit a Q on you and then you sidestep it and all in me. Why? Because you can all in me because you don't even have to worry about your wave. But if, if the wave's moving... Well, now you have to change your whole dynamic because you have to get around that wave to do something to me. Not to mention, if you get if you try to go past the wave, the minions auto you. So, anyways, hope this helps. Yeah, definitely did. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Keep grinding. Give that a try. Seriously, just be like, I'm going to just wave clear like a psychopath all game with that build that I just showed you. And then, okay. yeah, you watch the difference of how easy the lane phase is. And then, and then message me and let me know how it's going. Sounds All right? good. All right, man. Have a good one. Thank you so much. Already you as well.